Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake K Attack, and today we're back again with the most expensive Princess Cycle deck in Clash Royale right now. This heavy elixir Princess Cycle deck is coming in at 6.9 elixir. Besides the Princess, it has all of the most expensive cards in Clash Royale, and we did not even have room for a small spell. For air defense, we only have the three Musketeers, the Princess, and of course the Lava Hound Pups. Barbarian Hut and Royal Recruits are under a 1% usage rate in Clash Royale right now, and we're going to be using them both in this very deck. This is undoubtedly one of the craziest decks I've ever played in Clash Royale. So let's go jump straight into some games and assert some dominance with the heaviest Cycle Princess deck in Clash Royale right now. If you guys are not already supporting me in the shop, my creator code is SirTag. By using creator code SirTag, I get a percentage of all money spent at no extra cost to you. It allows me to spend more time on my videos and I really appreciate it. So we really don't want to cycle anything until our opponent does. He is not cycling a single card, so we're chilling. If you cycle Snowball, Ice Golem, Skeletons, Ice Spirit, something that doesn't make me have an immediate threat on my tower. I'm not responding to it. As we said, it's an Ice Golem, a Sobol, so it's probably going to be a Balloon deck. I want to save my Three Musketeers for that reason. Mega Minion behind an Ice Golem is something that I have to respond to, unfortunately. And I think it could be Graveyard or a Balloon. If he's going to do that, we're going to drop Three Musketeers all in one lane, and we want to make sure that we have enough answers to the Balloon. So I was fortunate that I was able to predict what he had, and we will be able to kill the balloon with only one hit on our tower. I think he only gets one, even though it's raged up. Got two. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. The rage gave him a lot more value than I otherwise anticipated. I can go for Royal Recruits here. Maybe keep the Princess alive. And if we keep the Princess alive, we're in a really good situation because Princess is going to get a lot of damage on the right-hand side. He's not going to be able to kill it. Musketeer is still alive as well. I didn't even notice that. I thought the Musketeer died to the Bar Barrel. Oh my gosh, we're going to be able to take the tower because of that. Those Royal Recruits were fire, man. And the Princess is still alive. It's going to kill the Firecracker. Oh my gosh, what an awesome start. I was able to make one prediction with this deck, and it paid so well for me. I'm going to go Peck on defense against Lumberjack, and then he's going to have to like Ice Golem Kite to the opposite lane most likely. Guys, we can win this game. It's just a matter of me making predictions with my three Musketeers, having to drop them all in the same lane. And... Uh, yeah, that's really the only way that I can think of winning this. Maybe I can go for Golem here to tank for the P.E.K.K.A. Because we're up a lot of Elixir. This seems weird, but I think it's worthwhile. He dropped Lumberjack and it died. So he's not going to have any damage per second to kill this P.E.K.K.A. And no damage per second to kill this Golem. So I know this seems ridiculous going P.E.K.K.A. Golem for the three crown. But it's looking pretty promising at the moment. I want to just chill a little bit though. I want to go for a Mega Knight on top of the Firecracker. If the P.E.K.K.A. gets a couple hits, it's going to be well worth it for us. We can go and split three Musketeers and then Mega Knight on the right. So if he balloons on the left, it will get dealt with and he won't be able to through crown. And if we Mega Knight, then he's obviously going to have issues as well. So, okay, well, I'm going to Mega Knight on that. Oh my gosh, give me that value, dude. You're not going to be able to kill the Musketeer now. And the Princess on the right, supported by the two Musketeers, is phenomenal for us. I can pack it here as well. I don't think he's able to defend this. This is going to be a three crown, guys. We got him. We definitely got this game. I don't say that with conviction unless I know for a fact, and I know for a fact that this P.E.K.K.A. is going to ruin his day. Holy crap, guys. What a fun game. What a crazy start. That prediction, knowing that he had Balloon, saving our three Musketeers, and dropping it all in the same lane was a ballsy play, but it paid off. We're going to sauce out a good luck, and we're not going to cycle anything at all. We're saucing out the good luck so he knows we're here, so he doesn't spam at the river when we don't drop anything for the first couple seconds. Because sometimes if you don't respond with an emote, they'll spam you. When you're running the heaviest cycle deck ever, you got to make sure that your opponent knows that you're still in the game. Okay, I don't want to respond to that Tesla still. It just doesn't matter to me. I want to go in for a Barbarian Hut and Double Elixir, and I want to get to Double Elixir. That is my goal with this deck. That's all I need to do. Oh, no, he's cycling. I need to go for a Barb Hut now. It looks like he's probably got Expo. I can't drop my Barb Hut really far low because you know what's going to happen. He would just Expo on top of my tower. He's going to try to snipe this, it looks like, but no, he's not going to be able to snipe it, right? He's just going to kill the Barbarians with the... The expo on defense. This is fine. I think that we probably want to slow roll a P.E.K.K.A. here. Slow rolling a P.E.K.K.A. is acceptable. He dropped his expo. He's not going to be able to do anything right now. Guys, if we win this game, that'd be great. He's not going to be able to apply aggression because he has to cycle like five cards or four cards now to get back. I don't know why I said five. It's obviously four. <laughs> card cycle is four before you get the card back in your hand. But yeah, I need to go for a golem. Same lane as where he's setting up for the expo. He's going to go for an Expo with the Tesla and the Ice Wizard, undoubtedly. He's not going to go on the other side. That'd just be too weird. So if he does, we could Mega Knight on it, and that's going to be unprotected. But yeah, he's just going to Expo again on defense. This is going pretty well for us. He wants to try to defend this. He's going to probably go for a Tesla now. Guys, can we go for a Mega Knight and then go for a Princess to snipe the Expo? 
Is that our play? It's undoubtedly going to get logged, but maybe we can bait out the logs for our Royal Recruits. It's possible, right? Royal Recruits on offense now because he doesn't have login cycle. Is that the wave, guys? <laughs> Is that the maneuver? It might just be. Okay, so he's going to go for Tornado on defense. How are we going to break through a Tesla Isos or Tornado Expo deck? This is just like the most annoying Expo deck I've ever played against, dude. It is such solid defense. Well, at least we're going to be able to get some passive value with the Barbarians. He's just going to go rocket that bar, but he's like, I don't want to have to deal with that anymore. We're going to go for three Musketeers in the back, and we have a lot of tanks. So I still think we can win this game. I, I don't think it's gone yet. If he rocket cycles us, we could be in some trouble, but... If we go for a golem and that tanks for the uh, musketeers, that'd be ideal, right? Yeah, the golem's tanking. Musketeer is still alive on the right. We can go for our royal recruits, as I said before. If we bait out the log, then the royal recruits are going to give us some sublime value on offense. We could even Mega Knight at the river here. The musketeer is locked on. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm going to peck at the river, actually. I think that's a little bit better than Mega Knighting because I can go princess and I can protect it easily because uh, he can't get on top of our princess anymore because... A P.E.K.K.A is going to be able to protect it. It has more damage per second. And it's going to actually be able to kill a knight. We win the game, though, because the Musketeer breaks through on the right side. And, guys, we're doing pretty okay. The most expensive 6.9 Elixir Princess deck is asserting dominance on our opponent. And we have to say peace out, Girl Scout, with the Princess emote to secure our W. Okay, so this guy's going to go for Skeletons. We do not want to respond. Our deck is way too heavy to respond to Skeletons. They don't get damage on our tower unless he goes in for a Miner. Then we'll go in for Royal Recruits. Oh, no. Not like this, sir. You have Elixir Collector. We don't have a spell in this deck because we can't afford it. If we're running the heaviest deck possible, we can only have seven Elixir cost cards since we have the Princess. Oh, this is not going to go well. I, I can see the future in front of my eyes, and it is not bright. He's got Expo Tesla with Elixir Collector, and we have no way of damaging this. If we win this game, that would be insane. It would be the craziest thing that would have ever happened to me in Clash Royale. But he's running a real deck, six wins into a grand challenge with something that hard counters us. Like, really, really bad. Well, most decks will hard counter us, but... Yeah, if we can get this double elixir, maybe it doesn't matter how much elixir he has on us, but... I'm not, not a huge fan of this, guys. I'm gonna have to go for Royal Recruits on offense because he just uses Log. And he is going in for Collector, so we need to make something happen. We were able to defend the Musketeer, so we were able to get four worth of a value there, and he didn't have login cycle, so I felt comfortable doing it, but at the same time, I know it wasn't, like, an amazing decision. I'm going to go for a Lava Hound on offense here. We probably will get Expoed soon. I'm surprised he didn't. He went for a Collector instead. Hmm. Wait, he doesn't have a spell. I could go for three Musketeers behind a Lava Hound. Lava Hound tanks for the three Musketeers, maybe, guys. Is that the wave? Is this the play? I think I have to do something stupid here if I want to win. So I'm going to go for three Musketeers at the river with our Lava Hound and two Barbarians tanking. Obviously the best push in Clash Royale. You've never seen anything like this in your lives, guys. Well, I know that you've never seen anything like this in your lives. Everything else was just a complete meme. It's obviously not a good push, but we do bait out a lot of Elixir. And now he's got another Collector on the map. Oops. Oops, I dropped another Collector. <laughs> it's not going well, guys. This is not boating well for me, brothers. He's going to Expo opposite. We can still get a P.E.K.K.A. down in time. I didn't have Elixir for the Golem, but the P.E.K.K.A. is going to die. I need to get enough Elixir for the Golem, but before it dies, I won't. I need to go in for Real Recruits. He did go for a Log, so it was fine. That Golem wouldn't have placed in time, man. Oh, no. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so scary. I think that the Barbarians will tank long enough for us to get down a Golem. We do get the Golem down in the nick of time, and then he's going to Expo opposite lane. This is just a nightmare. He's the Boogeyman. He's a monster. It's a nightmare in my closet, man. What can we do here? I have to go Mega Knight to go kill everything, but the Mega Knight's not going to be able to kill everything because he's able to Tesla. And he go like Princess here. He's going to log, but miss the Princess. Yeah, heck yeah, brother. Miss that Princess. Miss me with that Princess, brother. I don't, I don't think we can win this. There's no way. <laughs> GG, well played and peace out. Yeah, so when we play against these type of decks, there's no chance, guys. This is a complete hard counter. Oh, no. Elixir Collector, when we don't have Rocket or Lightning, we can't win it. GG and well played, dude. Hopefully, we can keep up the positive win ratio with this deck because I just want to make this meme a reality. We got a game against the Wolf. He actually has a name similar to Sir, but he doesn't actually have Sir in his name. There's a random O in there. Wait, is this French? I don't know, man. Anyway, we're going to sauce out a good luck and we're going to see what's up. Go for Hog Rider. I really didn't want to drop a Mega Knight there, 
but it's okay. If we can get to double elixir safe and sound and counteract his P.E.K.K.A. with our rare recruits, this is going to be acceptable for me. However, if I can't counteract this P.E.K.K.A. and he's got like Magic Archer locking onto our rare recruits in our tower, that'll be an exceptionally sad panda. So he's not going to drop Magic Archer. Really good that he's going to rocket us. Wait, he cheap padded! He cheap padded the rocket! What? Sir! Wolf! What are you doing? First off, why would you rocket rare recruits when they're split? Second off, he chief padded it! <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to kill that card. The Firecracker is just like, nah, you can't touch me. It's moonwalking away, unfortunately, guys. The Princess might be able to put it in the vicinity that it dies to our tower now without a shot off. But I'm going to be in a difficult scenario. I think I have to go for P.E.K.K.A. on P.E.K.K.A. here. He's going to P.E.K.K.A. on top of our Golem. But our Golem is going to be tanking for our P.E.K.K.A. So the big brain plays, guys. The big brain plays. Run P.E.K.K.A. with your Golem so you can counter other P.E.K.K.A. decks. This is going to be hilarious. The Big Mama Bear is going to get decimated. No, he's got Skarmy! Oh, dude, I don't have any small spells. This is tragic. This is a disgusting situation to be in. <laughs> okay, I'm still maybe able to claw my way back here. I'm going to go and cycle through Musketeers because I need uh, as much damage per second on the map here as possible to hopefully be able to kill the... I think that we're going to be able to kill Pekka without it getting a hit. The Firecracker will get a hit, though. Yeah, Firecracker's going to take my tower. There's nothing I can do about that, guys. That's unfortunate. The Musketeer does give us a lot of damage there. Go for Lava Hound on the right, and we'll see what he likes to do. Okay, he's going to give us great counter push. I can go for Royal Recruits because he's going to be able to kill the Pekka. He thought we were going to Mega Knight. Okay, guys, we have a shot at winning. He Pekka'd in the middle. I don't know why he did that. Okay, he's probably going to scar me on the left because those rural recruits are going to do way too much damage. I want to go for Princess, and then it locks onto the Lecture Wizard if possible. That'd be really, really nice for me. And it also hits the tower. The Princess, guys! The 6.9 Elixir Cycle Princess! It was all in this deck for this one moment, this one time for her to shine at the river, doing all the dirty work for this deck. Whoa, we're going to win because of the Princess! We took the tower! She locked on, and she had her heart set on one thing in life, and it was the tower. GG, well played, and peace out. She just cheated on the Prince with the tower, took it out for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. Total snack and a half. The Pekka will get a hit on my tower, but we still win the game. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout, and it was a pleasure playing against you and asserting dominance. We're sauce out of good luck here. We're going to see what's up. We're going to see what's good. This guy is not dropping anything at all. So, we're just going to chill. If you drop skeletons, I don't have to respond to that because they don't get hits on my tower, my man. It's going to go for a log. I still don't want to respond to that because, as, again, it's uh, already cycled. And if I cycle three Musketeers, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for me to get the double elixir unscathed. Because then we start the game and I can't really cycle my heavy elixir cost cards if he's got Expo or Hog Rider, or whatever, you can do split lane aggression and kind of screw me. So I don't want to be in a scenario that we aren't in double elixir with this stack. I want to just wait. 12 seconds later. I swear, if this is another Expo player, my luck. He's going to go for Expo at the river. What the heck, dude? So many Expos, I feel. We're going to go for Mega Knight right on top. Fortunately, the Mega Knight jumps for joy and doesn't hit the Ice Golem. It hits the Expo and splashes the Ice Golem as well after. But if its priority was on top of that ice golem, it would have been such a sad panda, man. I think we would have probably lost the game there. I need to go for a golem because his expo is going to be pretty far out of cycle. If he wants to cycle to it, it would cost him a lot. And we're up a bit of elixir. He spent a lot of damage or a lot of elixir on uh, defending that. And I think we can just win the game. If he wants to go for an expo like that, we can trade as much damage as possible for a great counter push. I want to go for Royal Recruits and do dual lane aggression, and then I can go for a Princess if he logs the Royal Recruits, which he should. He should log this. I think he will. I could go Princess in the middle, and that's acceptable too. It will lock on top of the Expo and the uh, Archers killing them. And then I don't think that the Expo takes our tower. The Golem will take the tower on the left. Now let's think about the situation again. Would you rather be in a scenario where you're running a control deck and you lost a tower or would you rather be in a beatdown deck running in that scenario i am much happier i didn't even lose a tower but even if i do which the right hand tower is going to be fireballable i know that he's not able to go in for expos on the left hand side because we can just drop pekka's immediately on top of it it's really cool i can go in front of this and we have a musketeer for free now we don't really have air units besides lob hound pups princess and the three musketeers which aren't really the best but 
when we can get a Musketeer for free because he has to fireball the other side, well, that's going to be a really important unit to keep alive. So we're dropping a ton of tanks in front of it. We're dropping a Mega Knight real soon in the middle just because we still have the P.E.K.K.A. alive. And I think that the Mega Knight's going to be able to jump on the Ice Golem and then jump on the tower. So that could give us a lot of value. And then I want to go for Princess at the River because he's going to have to fireball our tower and he won't have enough elixir for log immediately. Wait, he's not even able to fireball? Guys, we won the game. Let's go. A 1-0 victory. We